There it is. Okay, so I will continue the next procedure. Procedure number three will be done by uh, one of the world experts uh, hailing from Hong Kong, Anthony Theo. Anthony is very well known, and I will also ask uh, Dr. Moon to uh, uh, to uh, moderate the session for us and to introduce uh, Anthony. The procedure that will be done will be an intraenteric endoscopic bypass procedure. So welcome both of you, and we are looking forward to your cases. Hello. Thank you very much, Mr. Dr. Lagi and Dr. Mowi. It's great, great pleasure to introduce our friend, Dr. Anthony Thiel from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. He's a definitely rising star and son in the interventional US. Now he's preparing very interesting case for us. Anthony, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Okay, could you introduce today to your team and the case? Yes, my team. So we have, I am very uh, lucky to have very, three young ladies, pretty ladies to be helping me. We can't see Definitely. you. Definitely. Very, so we can just see pretty young lady. Rachel is our nurse as well. <laughs> and Xiaobei is our overseas um, uh, fellow. Hello. So um, today we'll be doing an uh, in interesting case. Um, the patient is a 74 year old gentleman. Do you have the PowerPoint? Yes, clearly. Okay. So the patient had um, Marisi syndrome and then had a cholecystectomy which was complicated by bowel duct injury and hepatic artery injury, and a hepatic jejunostomy was performed. After the operation, he had recurrent episodes of cholangitis, and uh, after some scanning, we suspect a XJ stricture. Last week, I did a, attempted a short type double balloon ERCP, but it was a very long ruling, so I could not uh, reach the XJ. But at that time, I also did a supplementary US, and I think I could see the XJ right next to the duodenum. So today we're going to attempt a US guided enteral enteral bypass and place a lumen opposing stand so that I could insert the scope through the stand and reach the XJ for a subsequent ERCP maybe next week. So um, for this procedure, there are several difficulties. One, we need to identify the XJ and then find the afferent limb. Two, we need to distend the afferent limb so that we could uh, puncture with the US. Uh, it might be difficult because the the afferent limb is not the standard and it's not obstructed. And then finally, we would insert a lumen opposing stand. This is a cautery enhanced lumen opposing stand. Today, we're gonna use a new device. It's called the hot, hot sewer system. It's by MI Tech from your, your, your country, Dr. Moon, Professor Moon. So um, with this new device, it's a endoscopist controlled um, delivery system. So Almost then we had had access, right? Almost then we had access. Completely different uh, delivery system. Okay, I've already inserted my scope. Do you have the US image? Yes, clearly. So okay. any accessories and device for target intestine to be punctured? The plan is to puncture with a 19 gauge needle, um, contra inject contrast, and then try to feel the afferent limb. Uh, with uh, so a, a water as well as the indoor coming, and then um, insert the stand. Okay. So right here you can see a loop of bowel, not descended. Okay, but if I trace it, I can trace it almost to here, right here. Okay. Okay, right there. Okay, so I think here it is one side of the bowel duct. You can see some stones okay. here. And then here is the other side of the bowel duct. Here is the other side. And then perhaps the XJ is somewhere around here. Around here. So it's probably stenosed right there. So 
this is the afferent limb. So I'm going to trace the afferent limb a little bit backwards. Yeah, this is the afferent limb. And maybe I will puncture around somewhere around here so that I have more distance to insert the stent. Okay, maybe around here. What do you think about here, this, this, this area, Professor Moon? Looks very nice. All right, can I have a 19 gauge needle? So, mixture of normal saline and contrast media and methylene blue. How, how about yeah. the CC? How the amount? Well, actually, uh, it's just um, by arbitrary, by feel. So, a bit of methylene okay. blue contrast so that you can see the, 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 um, the limb. Okay, so I'm going to puncture now. Okay. Can we see floral? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm not entirely in yet. Okay, yeah. Usually, what kind of needle do you use for 19 gauge? 19 gauge uh, Olympus. Okay, EG shot three? Yes, correct. Nice option. So I think I'm in, in the limb now. Okay. Yeah. Could you show more zoom in? Sorry? Oh, floral image? Could you show more bigger size of image of Okay, x-ray bigger. Make that, make that x-ray. Okay, can we connect to a water pick? Um, more, more, two hundred. Okay, I'm connecting to a water water infusion system so that we can descend the loop about a bit. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay, now can you see the bigger US image change? Yes, image, okay, sure. Oh, five years already, sorry. I don't know. Yes. Let me hunching over here. Anthony, are there tricks to retain the fluid longer? Do you, uh, for instance, use Boscopan? Yeah, because we get Boscopan now. Okay. Dissipating. Yeah. Yeah, Bussy M. Some, some empty Bussy. Yeah, correct. Um, good suggestion. Let me try five CC. Oh. Oh. Nurses are preparing the busco pan, and I'll keep infusing. What you do to the muscle? Sorry, if I do. Okay, a little bit better now. Anthony, yeah, while much we're better. waiting for the busco pan to work. Uh, is there a specific type of patient that you would select for this procedure or uh, in, in uh, contrast to using uh, a single balloon enteroscopy ERCP 
what is your practice or is this uh, if you can see the delivery limb that is yeah. enough for you to decide to use this technique how do you Usually, make that decision yeah so for us uh, we have the short type double balloon device so most of the time we for benign conditions we will attempt the uh, balloon enteroscopy as, uh, assisted ERCP first and uh, if that fails then we will consider a US approach okay so bus pan was injected so yeah so for this patient you can see we're not distending very well for this patient you already tried the enteroscopy right but for yeah, you yeah i really tried i couldn't i couldn't join um reach the lumen so we'll see if we could distend the small bowel or not um but uh at the same time because my wire is inside uh, my needle is inside. We could uh, attempt to insert the wire and see if we could uh, reach the small bowel and uh, insert the stent along the um, the the wire. Oh my God! The contrast. Okay. Could but you right explain now, what's not... the difference? Is okay. Right now, it's not descending very well yet. So the position wise, um, for a e EUSGJ, usually we have the patient sideways, but because the apron limb uh, is on the patient's right side, so we have the patient uh, on the supine position. Okay. Now it's distending a little bit more. A little bit better. Okay, we have contrast. I'm just fully conscious. I'm very sure. Okay, any differences to performing US guided GJ stomy with this procedure? Yes, now you of want course. to use a guide wire? Yeah, so if the small bow is not descending too well, I will use the guide wire. Okay. But let's see. So preferably. We should have this small bar a bit more distended than now. It's a little bit bigger. But uh, I think for us, um, you know, unless we're 100% sure, otherwise, um, we should not move uh, forward with the procedure. a bit more distended i'll give it a bit more push okay okay i think it's something you saw oh my god this is a contrast right how about balloon occlusion method for this case? Oh, for balloon occlusion, we need to have the guide wire um, in the a, a device in the proximal uh, in the apron limb. So we need to insert a scope all the way down there first. I think right now it's a bit more distended. Maybe possible. Okay, just a bit more patience. Oh, I'll take it up, sorry, yeah. Mm, stop. Only 50. So how much have we injected so far? 500? About how much? 50 to 100. Oh, then that's not enough. So usually we need to inject around two to three hundred cc's of solution. 
before the small bowel could be descended. So, okay. Seems to be a little bit better. All right. All right. A little bit better now. Okay. So, at one moment, uh, I think we are almost there. Okay, so have we opened the stem? So you will do direct penetration without guide wire? Oh, for this case, maybe dangerous. So I will use a guide wire to guide the insertion for this one. You can use it because it's fixed after anastomosis. Yeah, but the, the, the duodenum is not very distended. I took it out, yeah. So how much have we in, infiltrated? 200, okay. So we've only injected around 200, so I'm gonna inject another 100. So normally we would use for a USGJ, we would insert a feeding tube, and then through the feeding tube, uh, infuse the small bowel with um, solution. And that will usually be quicker. Um, right now, I think I'm seeing more distension now. I'm not sure yeah, if you would. Agree. I'm sure. I'm not sure if you would agree, but um, I think it's more. It's better. We say you. It's a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's okay. a little bit better. Two hundred. Okay, so I think this is the best we could do. So let's uh, put in a wire and see. Oh, actually, make the icon, guys. I think you already used today's hot plumber stand, today's device. So how about comparing with hot axios? Um, a moment. One suggestion from the audience is uh, tilting the table with patient, like uh, head down to have more distension. Okay, it's yeah, another good, good option. Can we have the table a bit head down. Oh, okay. Anthony, I think we're all mesmerized by uh, your procedure and your skill. Can you just tell us what uh, type of wire do you use? It's a 025 um, angle tip, 025 angle tip physical guide. Do you require in this setting a wire that is slightly more stiff? Is that helpful when you introduce? The Usually, stand? 025 is good enough for us. Okay. I'm not sure if I could change the direction anymore. Let me see.
Preferably, I would. Okay. Good. I good. I want the guy wire to be a bit more like this. Okay. All right. I think we have to settle with for this. Okay. Let's exchange. Okay, like a small pseudocyst. <laughs> like a tiny pseudocyst, yes. Very small. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We can see wire and dilated vowel on EUS. Very nice. Yep. So now Anthony trying to keep the direction of guide wire. It's very important. On EUS. If you yep. can see the guide wire on clearly on EUS. You don't need to lose guide wire. Okay, my wire is around here, I think. Around here. Okay. Yeah, we can see. The other option is to try to puncture here, actually. Because um, this might be a better loop. What do you guys think? But my wire should be here, anyways. All right, okay, let's do that. Now you are inserting delivery system? Yep, delivery system, correct. It may be the first demonstration of by you uh -huh. of hot plumber stand. That device produced by MI Tech of Korea. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. So for this um, this device, okay. so I'm not seeing my wire very well. I think it might be somewhere here. I'm not exactly 100% sure. Okay, but um, okay, so there are several systems. First, this is a unlock system to lock and unlock. So un un if I open this, unlock, I can push the delivery system forward. Okay. Okay, Anthony, could you show the US image as a bigger? Could you say change it? Yeah, great, great. Okay. All right. So if I push here, then it will push the delivery system out. I don't. I'm not getting a really great ultrasound image. Uh, my position may have changed a little bit. I think. My delivery system should be somewhere around here. If I move forward, you can see a sort of see me moving. Yeah, that's my Where wire. Yeah, okay, perfect. So, the pushing is similar to Axios. All right, I'm going to go in with hot. So 
So I think I'm in. Ready? Okay. Okay, to deploy, I lock this first. I lock this first. I rotate 180 degrees here. All right. I open the stand slowly. Push here. We see a larger image of the fluoro. Uh, Okay, I'm going to push the stand a bit deeper because I feel I'm not in a great position and I cannot see my US view very well. Okay, hold it. Just a and I'm going to open my stand further. Okay. I open by here and I reach this area. You can see the stent partially opened. And I'm going to rotate again 180 degrees here, like that. Did you see that? And then I'm going to yes, we can open my stent further. All right. Here, right now. Okay, that's a stand. Can you see this? We can see that. We can see that. Distal flange. Yeah, the flange. Clearly, distal flange is on okay. bowel. Yes, in and bowel. And I'm going to pull back the stand a little bit. Okay, now I think I'm quite sure I'm in the lumen. I'm going to pull back some more. All right, so I think we are quite good. What do you guys think? Great, great. Okay, I'm going to open the remaining of the stent inside the delivery system. Okay, so the stent is completely open. And I'm going to change, I'm going to push the stent out. All right, so I'm going to change to endoscopic view for you. Okay. But uh, you should be able to see the scent. We can see that. Yeah, right here, you can see the scent. And then um, it's completely deployed. Okay. So on x-ray, you can see both flanges, right? Okay, so can we uh, remove this? All right, good. Okay, can we leave the wire? Fantastic, Anthony, fantastic. Thank you, Professor Moon. Um, <laughs> usually, when could do ERCP? So for this case, uh, we will do it uh, on Monday. I won't do it immediately because um, because um, I worry the stand may dislodge. So right here, you okay. can see the tip of the device uh, came off, but it's okay. Okay, it changed. Okay. So I think uh, it's okay right now. I'm, I'm gonna pull out the wire. Very nice, very nice. Great. Okay, the sand is here. Very nice. You made the second entrance to the biliary tree. Yeah, correct. Okay. It can so be a port questions? and access. Great. 
Thank you so much, uh, Anthony. That was absolutely a masterful uh, performance uh, and, uh, and uh, a very, very clear uh, description of the case, as well as uh, you taking your time to do this. Uh, so I want to thank you. I want to thank Dr. Thank you very uh, much. As well for, uh, for uh, moderating this case. And I think we can then move on to the next case. Procedure right. number four. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Procedure number bye -bye. four. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Procedure number four will be. Anamosis between GI tract and target structure to place stent in the targeted location. Zeus IT is designed to shorten procedure time by penetrating the target location with one step access. Insert Zeus IT over the guide wire and turn the lure lock clockwise to secure the delivery system to the scope. Then, connect the generator to the cautery connector. Verify the desired setting on the electrosurgical generator. Step 1. Positioning. Unlock the sheath lock and push the sheath handle to the targeted location. Make sure generator is on the recommended setting, pure cut, and push the sheath handle downwards under EUS guidance. Stop the sheath handle at the proper position. When entering is completed, lock the sheath lock and power off the generator and unplug the cable from Zeus. Step 2. Stent Deployment To deploy the distal flange, rotate the spin lock 180 degrees. Deployment is ready when you see odd numbers of stent deployment indicators. Push it upwards until click feeling. Pull the endoscope back slightly to the wall. Make sure the black marker is visible under the endoscopic view. If the black marker is not visible, unlock the sheath lock and slide the sheath handle 2 to 3 millimeters upwards until the black marker is fully visible and lock the sheath lock. To deploy the proximal flange, rotate the spin lock 180 degrees again. Deployment is ready when you see even numbers of stent deployment indicators. Push it all the way upwards. Check that the stent is properly positioned. Unlock the lure lock counterclockwise and remove Zeus IT. To remove the stent, pull the lasso on the stent by using alligator forceps or snare. Morning, good evening, uh, people. Welcome back. Uh, we are just waiting for our colleagues from Australia to get back uh, online. Apparently, they 